Welcome back, everybody. A bit more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. It's an open online course, and it's Imperial Garden, nine holes out. Uh, doesn't look like it's too windy, and the weather's quite good. Uh, I always struggle on this course. Not a one-hole round. Um, I always struggle on this course when it's... Um, when it's wet, it just makes it incredibly hard. It's a par four. So, uh, custom clubs. Yeah, I assume so. Though I've got a slightly longer club, but I think I'll stay with my number one club. But we might go for a grass cut on my last one, just because there's a fair bit of um, rough stuff on here, and I'm pretty likely to end up on it. Um, fairways and greens is the key. And what I should do here really is lay up, isn't it? That's what I should do. And that's what I'm going to do like a grown-up. Depressing. Masterful. But yeah, not much wind, so... Assuming we haven't hit one of those pot bunkers, yeah, we should be in good shape there. And powered up the three wood a little bit. So, 183 little bit of wind it's gonna pitch right when it lands I don't really want to be anywhere near that bunker so we might just go there and accept we're gonna to have to put it back uh, six irons are stopping it's gonna be interesting let's see how we get on oh, I just hit the kind of little apron but got us on so 20 footer for a birdie it's gonna Right to the left for sure. Waking to the left. Right first, then left. Oh, let's try about there. It's pretty flat though. How does that look? Is that gonna come back enough? Yeah, just about. Nice birdie, I'll take that. So that's a good start. So another par hole. Another par four, sorry. For the second hole. Again, wind's going across us. Which is not too awful. And again, this is this is about a bit of course management. You know, you can try and get it up there. Actually, I quite like the look of that. Much more chance of... Oh, did I clip something? Much more chance of ending up on the fairway. Unless, of course, you do that. So there you go. So now we're in the really deep, messy stuff. Luckily, we're using the um, the sand viper, so it's going to pitch right. Okay, okay. Right, as our luck here. Oh, got it up. Where's it going to end up? Oh, it's on. So we escaped quite quite well there. Lisa's the 15 foot for the birdie, uphill. Gonna break right, let's hit it firm. Oh, I'd left it too far, yeah, I didn't quite borrow enough, but that was a good pace. It was a good pace. And I think par from that rough stuff's not a terrible, not a terrible stroke. So that's a par. Another par four to start. I to start with three consecutive par fours. Uh, you can't skip this much as you'd like to. Just too high on the old um, on the old cliffs there. And again, the question here is: Do you lay up or do you drive it? Um, I think what we'll do is we'll try and take it from right to left. That might be in a bit of trouble. All about the bounce. Oh, got a good bounce. Got a very good bounce. I did worry I was in a little bit of trouble there. Okay, so it's above me. In light terms, so it's going to fly way to the left. In fact, I'm going to play there. Which my real worry is ended up in those three pot bunkers, which I'm going to come straight in over, just to the right of the last one. Oh, I got away with that. It's on. Fairways and greens, fairways and greens. Okay, so that's going to move a lot to the left to start with. 
And it's quite a way up here, so we're going to need much more power. Okay, let's try that. I suspect that's going to stay right. No, wow. Really kicked it left. Really kicked that left much further than I thought it would. Hopefully we can take our par. So, birdie par par start. I mean, not, not brilliant. But bear in mind my best score round is level par. Although, as you can see, I've made some birdies and some eagles. Oh, I have a, a love-hate relationship with this hole. So long. Actually, it's towards the back, which is good. It's You end up... You want to pitch it sort of here, really. But, of course, you make a mistake, you end up here, you're in the water. Bunker. There's just lots of places it can go wrong. Okay. Line looks decent. All about the pitch. Oh, really pitched and ran. Ah, oh, that's the worry. It goes over the top. And I've had that before. Mm. This is probably why my best score on this hole is um is so low. Hi, sorry. Oh my lord, that's better. That gives me a couple of feet for a for a bogey. But the moral of the story is don't put it in the water. I just do. Okay. Hole five. Again, this is all about accuracy. It's a good hit. It's a good hit. What's the line like? Oh, in the sand, isn't it? So difficult. You've got to lay up there, really. But again, 25 away. Go on. Oh. So I missed the fairway, got the green. Get the birdie. So it's not the conventional way to get the birdie. <laughs> now there is a skip here. So one of the things you can do is you can play the water skip. I don't even know where I'll actually need it in reality. But you know. Nice to know you can. That's all right. That looks in a good position. Two hundred to go. Gonna kick right a bit. That pin position is just begging for trouble, isn't it? Okay. Ah, oh, could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Badly executed. That looks like it's going to go in the bunker. Oh, it just held. Wow. Okay. Can I, can I stop it? Yeah, go on. Got a chance. Oh, just hopped around the hole. So, missed the eagle, but not bad for the birdie. So got ourselves to two under. And it's a four three five finish. It's a par four. Oh, this is another one that just wants you to drive it. Yeah! Great shot! Oh, yeah, I'll take that as a lucky bounce. Just, just stay, just stay, just stay. That's going to be in the rough, going to be in the rough. But we got the ball, so it's okay. Okay. So we are going to kick right and we are going to be a bit shy. So let's make sure we pitch past. Yeah, just didn't want to end up in that front bunker if I could avoid it. Left myself a bit more of a difficult putt. Oh, that is a putt. Oof. 
sloping up to up there. Go on, that's the line. Oh, a touch more pace than that was in. Just needed a smidgen more pace. Not a bad part, though. Okay, so we've got eight and nine to go. Hmm. I definitely could have done better on this, couldn't I? Okay, right. So... Slightly downhill, a little bit of wind. It's quite away though, so this is all about stopping it. That's probably underclubbed a little bit, but I think I've got enough room in front. Yeah, I'll just end up short. Okay, it's a seven foot. Pretty straight, but it's uphill. Let's hit through it. Hopefully, it's got the legs. There you go. It's so a three under, par five. Last one. Oh, nine. oh yeah, I like it this round the corner. Never at the fairway, mind you, but you know, it's fun. Oh, that could go anywhere. Missed the impact. Oh. That's got to be plugged. Yeah, that's ridiculously tight in there. Let's just get this out. Please get out. I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. Okay. Again, these little island greens are incredibly tricky. You can't overhit, you can't underhit. You're in trouble either way. Am I in trouble? I am in a bit of trouble. Yeah, it's wet. Okay. Luckily, that's relatively pitchable. Ah, oh, not if you do that, though. Ah, oh, how did that go in? So we finish with a chip in par for three under. Well, I've improved my score, which is something. But um, I, I'm not impressed with that performance, if I'm honest. Considering it was weak wind as well, it's pretty much ideal conditions. There's no, there's no excuse for that. Oh, it's going to give me this thing which doesn't connect, isn't it? No, and that's connected. Fifteen under. Wow. Yeah, three under. Not oh, great. That's not a great ranking. Well, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that performance. Oh, look, I've improved my score. I've improved my record. That's the main thing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a bit more everybody's golf.